Good morning, my name is Mrs. Bruyard, and this is a second grade classroom and we are doing a lesson on 3D solid figures today. All right, boys and girls, so we are gonna be reviewing three-dimensional solid figures. We've been working on them, so we're gonna see how well we remember all of our solid figures this morning, okay? All right, so our objectives, we're gonna explain and describe 3D solid figures. We're gonna identify and name common 3D solid figures. And we're gonna identify everyday 3D solid figures that we see around us, okay? All right, so let's review. Raise your hand. Some of you might be able to read it, but who remembers what this shape is, Finn? A sphere. And we can remember that one because it has how many? Zero faces, zero edges, and zero vertices. Round, right? A lot of us like to call it a ball, right? But it's a sphere, right? All right, then we have our, what is this one? Cube. cube. You guys can say it out. Cube, we have six faces. How do we remember it has six faces? What object helps us remember there's six faces on a cube? Fen? Because on the dice, there's six stars. Yeah, there's six sides on a dice, right? With, when we roll a dice, there's six numbers. So a lot of times that helps us remember there's six faces. There's 12 edges, so we just double that number, right? There's 12 edges and eight vertices. So it's like you take the square on the end, a square on the end, right? Four and four, there's your eight vertices, okay? All right, so remember, our edges are here, our faces are, and what shape is the face on a cube? Square. Square. And then our vertices are your what? Corners, that's an easy way to remember, right? Our vertices are like our corners. All right, who remembers the name? This is a hard name. Who remembers the name of this one? Jonathan, you remember? Rectangle. Rectangular prism. prism, rectangular prism. All right, who remembers? So it's a lot like, a lot of similarities with uh, the other one we just talked about, right? Same number of faces, edges, and vertices as a cube. What is different though about a rectangular prism? Giovanna? It's like a rectangular prism. It's like a square stretched out. Well, it is, but what are the faces on a rectangular prism? They're not square like the cube. Rectangle. Malia? They're rectangle. They are rectangles. So all the faces on a rectangular prism are rectangle. So that's the difference. But these numbers are the same. Now, those are the three we need to know for our test in second grade. But we've kind of gone on because a lot of you already knew a lot of our other solid figures, right? What is the name of this one, Ewa? A cone, right? A lot of you already knew this because you were like, it's like an ice cream cone, right? Cone, ice cream cone. So it has one face, the circle at the bottom, but it has zero edges because it's what? It's round. And then it's got one what at the top? One, well, vertice or vertex. When it's just one, we say vertex. It's got one vertex, right? Good. All right, and what is this one called? Ooh, challenge. Kenny, do you know? Cylinder. Cylinder. So you've got two faces, top and bottom. You have, what, what's the shape of the face on the top and bottom? Ewa? Circle. Circle, right? Remember when you're looking at it from the side, it might look oval, <laughs> but when you look at it from the top, it's gonna be a perfect circle, right? It's got zero edges though and zero vertices because it's also what? Yeah. Round, it's also round. Then we have, Noah? Uh, triangular, prism. triangular prism, right? It's kind of like the rectangular prism, but this one's a triangular prism. And that's where the two faces on the ends are what shape? Mm -hmm. Sama? The two ends are what? What shape is that? Triangle, triangle right? They're triangles on the, on the ends, but on the sides, they actually are rectangles. So if you think of like a, when you go camping a tent, the sides are rectangle, but the two ends are a triangle, right? And you got five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. These you're gonna learn more when you get to third grade, okay? So it can't hurt to see them a little bit sooner, right? Then we have, there's two different types of pyramid, but this one, let's see if anyone remembers what kind of pyramid it is. We know it's a pyramid, but what kind of pyramid? How do we tell, Finn, which kind? 
Square pyramid. How do you know it was a square pyramid? It looks like, well, where, where do you see a square, though? On the bottom. Yeah, there's a square on the bottom. So that makes it a square pyramid because there's also triangle pyramids where there's a triangle on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So the rest of the sides are going to be triangle, but the bottom is square, okay? Five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. So you got all these corners right here. All right, so let's see if you can figure out what 3D shape it is. We're going to guess. Are you ready? I have six faces. I have eight vertices. My face is a square. Raise your hand when you know. Six faces, eight vertices. My face is a square. What do you think, Bryson? Um, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a cone. Mm, close. Keep thinking. Keep thinking, Yasvani. Cube. So the face is a square was your key giveaway, right? You got square faces and eight vertices. Good job. All right. Oh, let me reveal. So yeah. Oh, it might not let me. Hold on. All right. I have zero faces, zero vertices, and I am round. Hmm. What do you think, Camilla? Say you sphere. Sphere. You got to put the F in there, right? Sphere. Zero faces, zero vertices, and I am round sphere. Good job. And I don't know. It won't let me move this guy. So it should go like that. Then it would reveal it. But all right, we'll keep it in this way so we can reveal our answer. I have six rectangle faces and eight vertices. Six rectangle faces and eight vertices. What do you think, Braylon Gray? Uh, well, rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, where is it? All right, well, that is right. I don't know where it went. Good job, buddy. All right, good job. All right, so now we're going to switch gears, and we're going to do a little activity where you guys are going to move around a little bit. I have a box of real 3D figures that we see around our house, around school, everywhere you might see them, and I'm going to give you a 3D figure. And over on Miss B's bean table is a museum, 3D museum. You're going to place your object where you think it goes, okay? So under each picture. You're going to put it under sphere, under cube, under rectangular prism. You're going to look at it and place it where you think, okay? Now, let's see. Let's have Braylon Gray. Hmm, let's look at that guy. Where do you think that's going to go? Stand up, walk to the table, put it where you think. Y'all make room so he can get, put your hands in your lap so he can get through. All right, good job. Ooh, and I will tell you, this might be the only. <clears throat> oh, don't stay there. Come back. Just place it and come back. Thank you. This might be the only 3D triangular prism that I could find. They are hard to find. These are not very common 3D figures, right? Yeah, this is a chocolate girl, Toblerone. Have you ever had this? No. So, this is a tricky one, but it's like the only one of this one I could find. So, I want to see who can place this one. Finn, can you find where that one would go? Good job. All right. Oh, shaving cream. I yeah. wonder what that could be. Kenny, where do you think that's going to go? Go place our object. Hmm, let's see here. Mm, you're all going to get turned. Don't worry. got lots of objects in here. Yeah. All right. What about our... Oh. I want a spear. Party hat. I want a spear. Where would a party hat go? All right. Spear. Hang on. All right, Cameron. Where would that go? What do you think? I want a spear. All right. And then one of my favorite toys. My Mini brands. Hmm. We, you guys see these a lot. Yeah. Where do you think that goes, Pablo? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Good job. All right, Bryson. Hmm. I don't know. Where do you think that's going to go in our 3D museum? Can you place that one? Nice job. My turn. 
Oh, you already had turn. We gotta give everyone a turn, okay? Yeah. Give everyone turns. All right. A softball. Hmm. I turn. Where's that gonna go, Awa? I don't We're gonna check at the end and see if you guys all got them all right. Oh, peanut container. Mr. B's favorite. Had to bring these from home. What do you think, Sama? Where is that going to go? Oh, my goodness. Now, the key is you can't eat this one, all right, guys? And don't crush it. You can't eat it. And I mean, it doesn't have any ice cream on it, so you shouldn't be too tempted. All right, Camilla, where is that going to go? What's that? That's an ice cream cone. I don't know. I want to eat it anyway. Spraylin. Thank you. All right. We got a little timer. All right, don't put your hand up if you've already gone, because I can't keep track of who's already gone. Everyone goes one time. All right, Noah, place that where you think. Go quick. And Giovanna, will you place this one? Hmm. That looks like a little cone we see in the hallway, but that's a little mini one, isn't it? A little traffic. Traffic what? I kind of gave it away. <laughs> Ooh. Who likes Chef Boyardee? Anybody like Chef Boyardee? What is that? Mm, so it's got, oh, we're not blurting out. We're raising a hand if we haven't had a turn. Thank you. So we have two, we have two circle faces on the end. Tyler, have you had a turn? Go place that where you think. Oh my goodness. Our little smiley light. Let's see if he's got, oh, his batteries might be dead. Oh, you've already had a turn, Pablo. You gotta be patient. You gotta give everyone a turn first. Who has not had a turn? Harper, have you done one? Let's go put our smiley. Where is it going to go? All right. Oh, yeah. Is Vani, have you done one? No? Okay. Let's see what we can give you, Vani. Hmm. How about this little block? Can you go place this little block? Good job. All right. Has everyone had a chance to place one? You didn't do one? All right. Jonathan, let's have you do. This wiffle ball. Wiffle ball. Good job. It's called a pickle ball. All right, and then I have a few more that I just want you to tell me. What would this one be? Order it out. What would this one be? Cube. Cube. What would this one be? Cylinder. Cylinder. Golf ball. Sphere. Sphere. This big box of our money. Rectangular prism. Good. And even our glue stick. What would this be? No. Cylinder. Cylinder. Good. Good job. All right. What I want us to do next is I want us to build some solid figures at our seat. So I have us some four stations. And we'll rotate so you'll get a chance to do all of them, okay? All right. And I'm going to show you what they are. So your first station is going to be marshmallows and toothpicks, okay? All right. Now, what do you think the marshmallows are going to serve as? The marshmallows are going to be your what? Vertices. What are your toothpicks going to be? Your edges, right? So you're going to build different three-dimensional shapes. I want you to definitely try to build these two first, okay? Your cube and your rectangular prism. Then you can try to build some others. But there's a few you're not going to be able to build. Anyone know what they're going to be? Yes. You're not going to be able to build a few. Kenny? Uh, a cylinder and a sphere. A cylinder and a sphere and even a cone. Cone. Why? Because, because they're what? A cone. Oh, I'm put this one. one. And that one over there. Sorry. Yeah, because they're round, right? That's the quick way of saying it. They're round. And, the, and, and these are straight. And the reason why you can't make a cylinder mm -hmm. is because it has circles. 
Yeah. Yep. All right. Play-Doh, simple, right? You're going to be, now this one you'll be able to make a sphere in your cylinder and cone, different ones. So that's real short and sweet. You're going to make your 3D shape out of Play-Doh. That's kind of hard. You're going to have to configure it. Yep. You're going to have to configure it. All right. We're going to put the Play-Doh here. All right. Then we have magnet tiles. Okay. You're going to put the magnet tiles together, right, to build your shape. This one's all rectangles. What do you think that one's going to build? Rectangular prism. Hmm, rectangular prism. So some of them are already grouped together, so it makes it a little easier for you to kind of maneuver them, okay? And then we have our... Y'all might remember these from kindergarten. I actually... Hold that thing. I actually borrowed these from kindergarten. And Miss B, they're going to order me some for next year, I think. But these are really cool because the balls are your what? No, your vertices. vertices, but they even have some that are round. So you can build lots of your shapes, right? Straight yeah. edges. And it even has cards that tell you what you can build. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. All right. So I, I want us um, girls stand up, tiptoe to your seat, <laughs> and you make sure we share everyone. So use this as a guide. If you want to fill it out as a challenge, you can. And I might give you an extra prize if you can figure it out. Because you guys, most of y'all can read, so you should be able to read that. Okay? That's more of a challenge I threw in there. Six of greens. I need six greens. One. I think I'm doing it. What are you making? Good. Do you need two? Do you have two long ones? Oh, I see. Okay. So now make another square, and then you're gonna piece them together. And that's how you make it three dimensional. So you gotta make your faces first. Okay. You make it a square first. Square. Ooh. That was more of a challenge. That's kind of the house. They put two together here. All right, don't worry about that yet. I want you to build first, then you worry about that, okay? Is this in your way? All right, make a cube for me. What do you got? All right, which one are you going to do next? A cube. A cube? All right, try a cube. It works. You can try it. Make it into a square, like a box, right? Look. Good job. Ooh. You're making a trapezoid prism. That's a challenge. We haven't talked about that one. A trapezoid prism. It's going to be easy. What are you making, Giovanni? Or Giovanni? You're making a triangular prism. Okay. All right, our 3D museum. Let's see if we placed everything correctly. We have our cone. Oop, let's see what y'all put for cone. Are these all cone shaped? Yes. Yep. We have cylinder. We got our can. Are those cylinder? Yeah. Yep, good job. We have sphere. I think that was probably, you think that was the easiest one? Yeah. The easier one, yep. We got mini brand. We have our little smiley light and a wiffle ball. All right. We have a rectangular prism. Good job. And what was this one? Triangular prism. And we had some of our, no, cubes, cubes. They have a square face, right? Good job. All right. How many of you think you are going to nail our 3D questions on our test? Unit 6 test, you think we're going to do it? We know them. Um, we know them. Um. Thank you for coming to our class today. We had so much fun. Go, Go Wildcats! Wildcats!